So the Snake's Shot Akimbo has finally been nerfed. The nerf went live today, and this is what we've been told. So this has essentially reduced the one-shot kill range by about 25%, give or take. The one-shot when using the long barrel has been reduced by around 30%, give or take. So a 25 to 30% damage range reduction. In fact, using the long barrel will give you less than a meter of range more than what the pre-patch snake shot could do. It was around 5 meters pre-patch without a long barrel, and now if you use long barrel with a 5 millivolt laser, you get around 5.5 meters. I should also mention that this is with Akimbo. Akimbo is the reason this has become such an overpowered weapon. But another factor actually comes in later in the video that I'll talk about as it relates to the hipfire bug I previously talked about. So definitely a significant damage range nerf, but let's take a look at what the new one-shot damage range looks like. This is definitely much closer, but let's see what the new range is like with the typical snake shot setup. So that range is just barely further than the pre-patch base range. Something else that Infinity Ward claims they fixed is a bug that caused the snake shot to deal too much damage at longer ranges. This could definitely explain how I've gotten so many long range kills in Warzone with these. Now these might just be effective when hiding in corners and houses, which is actually what one of the big problems was. In fact, I tried using it earlier today and it's definitely much weaker unless you are very close. I didn't do a lot of extended testing in Warzone, but essentially I was only able to kill people that I got the drop on unless I was right in their face. However, they've also buffed the 357 at the same time they nerfed the snake shot damage range. The patch notes state that they reduced the fire delay on the lightweight and match grade trigger attachments on all 357 calibers. At first glance, I just assumed this was a nerf and then thought to myself, wait, reduce the delay? That means they buffed it. If you were using the snake shot akimbo, you were most likely using the lightweight trigger. I could definitely feel a difference between no trigger attachment and using the lightweight trigger on the 357 when I pressed the button to fire the gun. I'm not sure I could tell much of a difference on the match grade trigger. This doesn't seem to affect the nerf the snake shot much at all. It's still noticeably weaker with the range nerf and bug fix. There's also another big change that was made to the 357, but I'm not sure when this was actually made. It might have happened when Akimbo was introduced. All I know is that prior to Akimbo being introduced, the hip fire on the 357 Magnum was much worse. I have a ton of screenshots from when I was investigating something that I refer to as a hip fire bug that essentially makes it so that longer barrels on weapons give you a worse hip fire. This was true for the snake shot with a long barrel as well. However, today when testing the snake shot range, I realized that going from the base 357 to long barrel actually tightened up my hip fire. So I looked a little further into it. When I checked the snub nose barrel today, it actually gave me a worse hip fire. This was completely opposite when I checked it back in November. The snub nose used to give a tighter hip fire. In fact, the snake shot with long barrel in November was far worse than the long barrel today. So at some point, they gave this a significant buff. And I wonder if that's when snake shot akimbo became extremely OP. Just look at the comparisons on screen right now. It's insane how much they buffed the hip fire at some point. That same hip fire bug is still active on most weapons, and it's still technically true on the 357, but it works opposite to almost everything else. Something like the M4 using an M16 barrel has wider hip fire than using the shortest barrel. Even other pistols are affected this way, but for some reason the 357 stands alone with all the weapons I have tested so far. The fact that it works differently on the 357 versus other weapons just further proves that something here is bugged with barrels, and has been since last year. I'm surprised other YouTubers haven't covered this because it's blatantly obvious. Well, after the snake shot nerf, now they need to do something about RPGs in Warzone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.